Good morning. This is Dr. Bill White again with American Orthodontic Society, and I've had uh, several people have written back and wanted to know how we actually closed the space and kept the teeth parallel as we did. And so I thought I'd try to go through and give you some idea how you can actually move molars or any teeth and just move them forward and keep them uh, straight up and down. Now, if you just, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, something here, just right off the bat, uh, about uh, teeth. We got, uh, this is the lady that we did this. Uh, we closed all these spaces up and, and, and she, instead of having a bunch of implants, she only needed one to finish it out. And it, if you were to look at all of the uh, slides we've got on her, you're welcome to, uh, to do that. And now if we come in here, I'm gonna uh, just make a white sheet and show you what, how we actually move these teeth in there. Now like, for instance, uh, if you take teeth that are lay, laying it over like this, maybe we'll draw them pretty good, and you've got another bicuspid, say it's right up in this part, you have a bicuspid tooth, and you want to bring this tooth over there, then you have a arch wire coming through here, and you'd have to drop your arch wire down to catch this tooth. So now instead of doing a total arch wire, you want to kind of straighten this tooth up before you start. So we just uh, have a little loop in here, and we bend an arch just a uh, sec single little arch wire in here and we drop it down. You can actually take this and make it circle like that and the, the wire would run down here. And you have another bicuspid tooth over in this portion right here. And you bond that wire to these teeth here. Now we can pick this wire up and set up and make a hook in it and put the hook behind the, the bond on another tooth right here. And this would make this wire kind of look bend up like that. And it'll pick this tooth up. And then when you get it straightened out, something like that, Actually, the, uh, the roots are in the bone structure as you go, and the tooth will kind of move back as you back it up here. Now, once you get it up there, then you can go in and tie on to it. And let me uh, just uh, erase that for a minute. Uh, and we'll get back. All right, let me get over on another spot on her where we're trying to upright this tooth right here. And we'll put something on that tooth and come out like that. And then you make a little loop of that fashion. And you come over here and you put your arch wire coming across there and you have attachments on these teeth. And we raise this up and we would hook it behind one of these. We would move this arch wire right up here and make a hook on it. So now this would look kind of like that and it would have this hook right in this area. Now as this works on this molar right here, it backs this molar up the roots are down here in the bone structure and they are harder to move. So it would tend to back it up in this fashion. And you could be pulling on this 
uh, actually uh, you can run a wire through here and, and be tightening this up so as this tooth uh, raises up or straightens up the roots would finally be headed down kind of like this instead of it leaving the crown of the tooth would be out in that fashion and you just keep doing that until you get this tooth right up against the other tooth like such and the roots would be down as long as you put a lot of this force here it's pushing down on this you can pull the roots right up against the tooth here in front of it and we did that and pull that and you can see the tooth this gap didn't close up until we got the teeth going in a good uh, direction there and on the other side a very similar thing we're going to bring these teeth here and you've got three teeth, wisdom teeth and all that, and we'll just pull these teeth. In other words, you can, uh, in something like this, you can drop it down like this, come out, drop this down, and then this would be running down in this fashion, and then you'd have to pull this tooth backwards and set it up straight in here and you close this gap up. Let's see, I'm going to just run through some of these and show you how we did that. Now that's looking at the top, we'll have to bring these out. It's a, a class two division two type uh, case and the lower teeth are actually rubbing up against the back of those uh, upper teeth that you saw right there. Uh, the lower teeth were rubbing, you see how they wore those teeth and their lower jaw couldn't go in forward and also she'd have some uh, possibility of some temporal mandibular joint problem but I don't think she really had a very big problem with that as we went through with it. Now here's the lower teeth that were back against that. Now on the x-ray we can see, and I want you to watch this. And this lady is uh, 48, 48 years old in three months, actually. And this tooth is leaning like that. And we're going to put a, a, an uprighting spring on that that puts force on the roots and brings them in this direction. Now I'm going to jump forward and show you. We first started off thinking we were going to remove this. We changed our mind. We just moved all the teeth up and closed the gaps. And we didn't take anything out. We just moved all the teeth to close the gaps on this. Let me uh, move this forward now. And you can see where we're pulling. we've got that straightened out and we've jumped way up ahead on this and this is the arch wire that's working on the teeth. We're way ahead of that and let me get to these extra rays again and this is some of the stuff if you want to get more complicated in watching it. Now we're at that same point and watch this little space right here between those two teeth. And we're going to come in, and I'll put, I put that spring on there, pulling that forward. And you see this gap? It's almost exactly the same as it was uh, when we were over here. But look at the top of the tooth now as we come over there. Now see the crown of the tooth is leveled out, but this space is not any further together. The root structure in this tooth, though, has moved from here over to here, and this crown is flattened out. And we'll get the tooth in there like we want it, and then we'll just finally bring it up 
smooth with the other teeth. And they're doing the same thing over on the other side. Let me back that up and I'll erase that. And uh, now we're coming in with a, a step down arch. And we kept pulling on that until we got these teeth together back here. And as we pull this, we let this tooth drop back too much. We needed to put a little, uh, like you raise the arch wire slightly and come across here. And that'll make this root stick come out there. We did some of that. And you'll notice we have, during this time, we've pulled all these teeth up in here. And this tooth that was behind that, if you just watch that tooth in this area right here, and I'm going to back this up, and you see where this tooth was? Like this was the fourth panorex right there. And if we go back to the third and the second panorex, and you start off, this tooth was right even with this here. And now watch this space as it closes up here. So I'm going to uh, erase that and we we'll just move this forward. And you see that space is closing and this tooth is dropped back behind. This is dropped back and stayed that way so we've got to drop behind at that point. Now this is almost together, and this tooth here that was back in this area has moved up here. Now this is just actually drifting in this direction. We never did stay with the case long enough to have this tooth come up and work against the other teeth right here, but it would. And the occlusion hitting on this will tend to straighten these roots back up again after we had finished the case. Uh, let me go back now and erase uh, all that. Now you see that tooth is coming in there. And here we're uh, pretty well finished this case out. And we've got it back to the back. And that enamel breaks off of that tooth but I'm going to run through it real fast and, and show you. This actually broke right in there. Uh, that's uh, just a crown and it broke the cover of the crown off. Uh, we shifted that around or else it just broke from this uh, weakness in there. We'll go ahead and go through. And this is uh, number seven Pedrex and that's uh, 04 and here we finish this down and you see the this shell just came off of that tooth right there and we'll she'll fix that up and I'm going to run through a and there it's broken again and that's broken off there and let's get the final stuff on her and I think this is it there we were in 2000 and here they've re she's had this recrown and this is the lady's teeth after all the spaces were closed this these crowns that broke away she had repaired and really this is what many people would like done to their teeth rather than have a bunch of artificial teeth and implants and throw away the wisdom teeth, go back in there and just close the spaces up. It, if It just takes some time to do that. Now some people don't have the time and if they want to pay the money, I mean to fix this mouth up like this would cost a, a quite a lot of money. 
uh, you'd have to do a whole bunch of implants and those things run uh, 1500 or $2,000 for implant and uh, you could just have a stack of money to do the case like this. Uh, so if you want to take more time and see how to do it, you can do it. And I want people to look at it and see what could be done and maybe uh, you, the person you're working on would be willing to pay, you know, a good bit more to do orthodontics like that than it would be just to fix the teeth up with implants and bridges and like that. So uh, uh, that was from there and there we are at that point and it was like this and now we're like that. And so I'm going to hope that you get to kind of learn how to do this. It's not as uh, difficult as it seems. It takes some time to do it in every case is different. They wear teeth out, they beat down on them, they chip them, break them, you have implants, uh, and, and you move all sorts of teeth around to do this. But it's possible to do this, it just takes time. And I hope you'll see this and, and go with it. Thanks for watching again, and we'll close this out. And that finishes this lady and I hope she has these uh, as long as she lives. And if she takes care of them properly, she can. So thank you again and I'm going to uh, hope you join our group and subscribe to our channel.